Hi students. In the last class, we have studied the graphical representation of a pair of linear equations in two variables. In this class, we are going to find the algebraic method of finding the solution of a pair of linear equations in two unknowns or two variables, is it? Consider the linear equations. Consider the linear equations of two unknowns. A one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero, or a two x plus. B2 y plus B2 is equal to 0. Can I examine your arguments? If A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2, then the, the lines are intersecting intersecting the four intersecting lines the condition is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 second if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 then the lines are coincident then the lines are coincident lines. If the lines are coincident, then the condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Is it? And the third one, if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2, not equal to c1 by c2, then the lines are parallel. Then the lines are parallel. If two lines are parallel, then a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Is it? Consider the example. Consider the example. x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0 2 x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0 here a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 2 there is 1 b1 by b2 is equal to 3 by 3 there is 1 C1 by C2 is equal to C1 by C2 is equal to 5Y minus 5. Therefore, A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2. A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 not equal to C1 by C2. Therefore, the lines are parallel. So these two lines are and therefore the lines are parallel, isn't it? These are the parallel lines. Follow this. 4x minus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0. 2x plus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0. Here a1 by a2 is equal to a1 is 4 by 2, that is 2. B1 by B2 is equal to minus 3 by 5. Since uh, 
a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 therefore the lines are intersecting lines the lines are intersecting lines isn't it intersecting lines now another example x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0 3x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0 here a1 by a2 is equal to 1 by 3 b1 by b2 is equal to 2 by 6 that is 1 by 3. Now c1 by c2 is equal to minus 4 by minus 12. That is also 1 by 3. That is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Therefore, the lines are coincident lines. This way we can find whether the given lines are intersecting or parallel or coincident, isn't it? Now, consistent or consistent or inconsistent system of equation. Consistent means a system of equations is said to be consistent if it has one or more solution one solution or more solutions isn't it if a system is inconsistent if it has no solution if a system has no solution then the system is known as inconsistent system of equations and if a system is consistent it has one solution or more than one solutions means infinite number of solutions, isn't it? Now, let us uh, uh, discuss it with some examples. Example 1 2x plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 0 4x plus 6y minus uh, 4 is here a1 by a2 is equal to 2 by 4 1 by 2 b1 by b2 is equal to 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 c1 by c2 is equal to 1 by minus 4 that is minus 1 by 4 here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2 therefore the lines are parallel the lines are parallel therefore it has no solution it has no solution it has no solution if a system has no solution it is known as Therefore, it is an inconsistent, inconsistent or inconsistent system of equations, inconsistent or inconsistent system of equations, isn't it? If we have to check whether the given system of equation, equations is consistent or inconsistent, this way we can check for this. Now let us take another example. Second question. 2x plus 5y minus 7 is equal to 0. 3x minus 4y plus minus 7 is equal to 0. Here a1 by a2 is equal to 
टू बाई थ्री बी वन बाई बी टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई माइनस फोर सो ए वन बाई ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू ए वन बाई ए टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी वन बाई बी टू देर फोर द सिस्टम इज देर फोर द लाइन्स आर इंटरसेक्टिंग इंटरसेक्टिंग देर फोर द सिस्टम हैज only one solution that is known as unique solution it has only one solution the system has only one solution therefore we have x has only one value and y has only one value solution or one solution means that solution is known as unique solution unique solution isn't it Now let us consider another example. 4x plus 3y minus c equal to 4. 6x plus 8x plus 6y. Now a1 by a2 is equal to A one by A two is equal to four by eight. That is one by two. B one by B two is equal to three by six. That is one by two. C one by C two is equal to twelve by twelve. That is one. Here A one by A two. Is not equal is equal to b one by b two is equal to is not equal to c one by c two a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is not equal to c one by c two is it? Therefore, the lines are parallel. Therefore, the lines are parallel. Therefore, it has no solution. It has no solution, and uh, such a uh, equation is known as, and uh, such a uh, system is known as inconsistent system. Inconsistent, not consistent. It is an inconsistent system. Suppose here, if we have twenty-four, then here. C one by C two is also one by two. Therefore, A one by B two is equal to B one by B two is equal to C one by C two. Then the lines are coincidence. Therefore, the lines are coincidence. Therefore, it has infinitely many solution, infinitely many solution, many solutions. Therefore, the system is consistent. Therefore, the system is known as a consistent system because system is consistent. When will a system of equations consistent? The system of its equation is consistent if a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two, or a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is equal to c one by c two. These two cases, the system will be consistent. Otherwise, it is not consistent. Is it? One question is check. Graphically, whether the system of equations is consistent. Check graphically whether the system of equations is consistent. Solve graphically. I am here. 
have to find a solution from the graph, isn't it? The equations are expressed below is equal to 6. The second law of the equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 2. Let us draw the graph of these two functions. First is x plus 3y is equal to 6. What x is equal to 0? If you put x is equal to 0, 3 into 2 is equal to 6. And if you put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 6, isn't it? This way we can find the two points. The second equation is 2x of minus 3y is equal to 2. Here x, y. If you put x is equal to 0, if you put x is equal to 0, minus 3 into minus 4 is 12. And if you put y is equal to 0, 2 into 6 is 12, isn't it? So we get the values of x and y. Now we can draw the graph of this. Here on the x axis, mark 6. On the y axis mark 2. Join these two. We get the graph of the line x plus y is equal to 6, isn't it? We get the graph of the line x plus y is equal to 6. Now, in the x-axis, mark at 6 and in the y-axis, mark at minus 4. Now, join these two points. So, we get the graph of the line x minus 3y is equal to 0. Here since the lines are intersecting, the system of equations is consistent and it has only one solution or unique solution and the solution is, this is the solution, 6, 0 is the solution. Since the lines are intersecting it is consistent therefore it has only one solution it has only one solution therefore solutions are x is equal to 6 and uh, y is equal to 0, isn't it? This way we can find the solution of a pair of linear equations in two values. In the exercise, we are going to first four questions are homeworks. You do the questions and uh, send it back on to isn't it?